All right, guys, so here I am starting to fab up this bumper. I'm not a professional welder or nothing, but I've been doing, I've been getting a little better and better at it. So I feel comfortable doing this fab job. Anybody can do it. I just keep practicing a little bit. How are you going to get better if you don't start somewhere, right? What I'm doing is I got some cardboard to cut out to make some templates. I'm going to use the base, you know, this whole bumper as my uh, start. I mean, it's basically, I'm, I'm just building off this bumper. For instance, here's one. I kind of added a piece because I cut it too short. Yeah, it's a good thing. You can do whatever you want to it. You can see I'm going to start putting it on. And you just got to be creative. I mean, I already started another piece. I'm just going to tack this on and uh, put it where I think it needs to go. And then just keep building with it. There'll be quite a few angles on it just because of the way that this slopes right here. I kind of made it up to here and then another piece up to here. And then a piece I'm going to go across here with some thicker plate. But you got right here some I don't know what that is probably eighth inch and then this other stuff I have is probably sixteenth inch it goes here I don't want to make it too heavy the biggest plate I'll put is right here I'll leave enough room for my winch when it's in here but it'll just go across here I can mount some D rings to it not that you really need to I mean these things aren't really strong when you think about it I mean this isn't this is pretty thin wall you want it to be somewhat weak I mean because you don't want to mess your frame up on your side by side so i've got a hobart welder i've bought it's on i think it's on previous videos i've used it this is a really good welder i can run flux core or i can do heavy heavy duty i can run it on 115 volt or 240 and i can weld very good shockingly with this welder on a pretty heavy stuff with flux core like 3.35 wire i can run i can't remember what model yeah it's the 210 mvp is what they call it really awesome make and then see when i practiced welding i was messing with that a long time ago so yeah i marked these out definitely would like to have a plasma cutter but um unfortunately i'm gonna be using an angle grinder with a cutting wheel so i'll be sitting there for a while cutting on this stuff or a torch even if i had the torch but that doesn't make a very pretty cut at least i'm not very pretty at it so and i don't have a torch so i'm just gonna use angle grinder and start with these two pieces and then i'm gonna work my way from there and I'll keep you guys posted. I'm gonna add this piece that goes up to here, then this piece that goes across here, and then over here where they cut these two. I may take that out and just grind it off, cut it out, and then weld a piece up through here, going across um, fairly, not real high, but like at an angle maybe. I guess we'll find out. Nothing I can't bend out, yeah. I'm gonna say, just put it on the floor and step on it. It's a little heavier than that, babe. Guess I got it, huh? That's pretty dang good weld for flex core.
I gotta be like super precise and try to use this other way around. Yeah, so it fits good. See how it's raised up where I Hard welding that thing in that way. That's why there's professional welders and I'm not. It's coming together. I don't like that idea. I'm going a different direction. Let's put some bars across and then put the receiver on that and then just leave it open. It's just, so what made you decide you didn't like the... It just doesn't look right. It just, I just don't like it. it and it's not very strong, you know?